Right, hello everybody, welcome to uh, KFOG versus Kill Bill Waltz in the round of 64. We started with a blitz for KFOG, and uh, yeah, that's bit, pretty much game over. Um, thank you, for, for us for the 25 bits there that completely ruined the intro to the uh, YouTube video. <laughs> but, um, oh god, look at that, instant removal. Instant removal of the core, my alignment. I don't know if that was worth the apple. Because obviously he's going to care a lot more about these guys, but this is pretty much game over. Um, instant game over. The only thing is whether KFOG will take any damage in his inevitable victory. Um, woo! Pretty, pretty, pretty exciting um, that the game's over before it started. Um, it's probably just a panic one, Coffee. Probably a panic app, alright. Yeah, I would, I would not really tilt as much as just panic, you know, you've just been blitzed on, you're playing against an insanely good Wood Elf team, I think the best in the in the tournament. Um, I know PC really liked uh, Gadenik's one, no spoilers, he's played, I don't know if he's still in the tournament or not, but um, I don't know the result of Gadenik's, but I, I preferred k Fox team, I think he's got the, maybe just the best team in the cup, and... He's, you know, maybe the best coach in the cup, and he's just got a blitz against you and your underworld, so I could see that being a certain amount of a panic app over there. <laughs> I mean, it's still GG on turn one of his own drive, Pedro. <laughs> it's still GG on turn one of his own drive, but, you know, maybe he can do some damage on his way out. You know, cast this, cast this dancer, whatever. Just try and... Um Let's try to do things or whatever. I, I don't know. It's a pointless waste of time now, isn't it? Pointless little kids game. Uh, not a lot he can do. Can he chain? Can he chain the the? Can he chain this guy here? Blitz him, push him to there, then block this guy, and then push him into the square. Uh, to here, then then. So push him to there with the first one, then push him to there. Nah, no, you don't get him, do you? It'd be really funny to just to just uh, blitz the troll in. Yeah, it'd be really good to blitz, like chain the troll in in the contact. But I think you 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 just can't. He could throw a ducky tear fire, but always just kill the guy. That's good news for everybody else in the uh, competition. <laughs> Doesn't really affect Kill Bill, but hey, it's, it's good for everyone else. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's what he could have done. He could have blitzed this guy, push, push the troll to here, and then blocked that guy, and then pushed him to there, and then the troll could have blocked and then got on the ball. Yeah, that, I think that was the play actually. Yeah, yeah, that was that was that was what he could have done. Yeah. yeah, that was the play. I was thinking trying. I was trying to hit the ball with the troll, but yeah, he could have just got the got, got the tense on the ball. Was probably the best he could have done. But I mean, he can just hand it off back anyway, can't he? So it doesn't even matter if he does. Like it wouldn't even matter if he got tense on the ball, because he'd just simply hand it off and run away. And... Doesn't matter. How old backyard door door? Oh yes, get a stab. Come around the outside or not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, you'd have to. How does he do it? Oh yeah, he could. He could. He could go in and stab him. He could have done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, GFI, GFI stab because uh, the game's broken. Instant greed. Love to see it. Yeah, so that would have been that would have been really like you'd have got served. You'd have just got instantly served, so it was pointless. But um, <laughs> there's a bit of a difference between Skitter and Hemlock, isn't there? Hemlock's got blood step. Skip is just shit. <laughs> but he, he's a gutter runner, and a gutter runner 
on a team that doesn't normally have gutter runners is pretty amazing. Gonna go for a 1D with a troll going, you might as well. It's trying to high roll, aren't you, at this point? Hell. Yeah, I don't mind that. Try and protect the uh, the curl palm a bit. Indeed, Milkman of Death. Yeah, in Blood Bowl three, Skitter will be back into the trash. He goes. <laughs> uh, but then, like Glart will get better, won't he? As a second blitzer. Si le joueur trébuchant du terrain, il finira dans les tribunes. Et connaissant les fans de Blood Bowl, ce serait une très mauvaise idée pour lui. Oh, cheeky GFI. I'm a little bit surprised at this by PTK. You, you know, he might have just run backwards, but he's, he's pushing forward. I mean, he's just got to make some two pluses, I guess, and it's... Fuck off, Dimmy. <laughs> Glorious. I love EAB. Double one there was really costly. But he doesn't get it. And he doesn't get it that time. <laughs> yes, EAB is indeed C subs, yep. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Just for Dimmy. <laughs> Other people can do it in my channel, but Dimmy just gets that. <laughs> yeah, the fact that he didn't score. Maybe he could have whizzed on turn one. Ce joueur peut traverser plus d'un tiers du terrain en un sprint. Disons que c'est rapide. Ce type-là a des points gros comme des jambons. Ça me rappelle la célèbre histoire. Let's see what people can do it, but Timmy, Timmy just gets the A B and C. A B C and fuck off, Timmy. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty amazing. Buzzer. The greatest. Oh, he does the one day skulls out. That's actually huge. It's huge that K Fox even thinking about his reroll. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty nice. That was pretty nice for Kill Bill. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's the only chance he can stop. The, this is his only turn to stop the TD. So yeah, I think you do. I think you do either fireball or bolt. Either way. Yeah, I think you have to use the wizard this turn. You have to. You just you just have to, don't you? You have to. You can bring this guard in here, punch him, bolt you could bolt the dancer even, and then claw palm him, but then he's got sidestep. <sighs> It's not great, is it? But like, if you don't bolt now, like you're just not gonna even stop the storm. <laughs> I mean, maybe he's got these three players here, so maybe you, uh, maybe you don't bolt. Maybe you just get these guys back, and then um, you know, hope K Fog scores on like turn three or something. And use the wizard layer. Yeah, he could go for the stab, but then there's no recovery, so there's no point. Like the point, is, the the thing is, if you dodge in with skitter and stab, then so fucking what? Then skitter gets mighty blowed, and he's still got the ball, and he still beats you. <laughs> no, he isn't stopping the score. No. No, but so that's why you probably fireball 
you probably fireball here and hoped for three removals. And if you get three removals, then you then you can stabilize, and it's a two touchdown swing, isn't it? So I think you, I think you should have fireballed. I think you should have absolutely fireballed because otherwise, what's he doing? Yeah, could have conceded. Now he just gets his blitzer served. Yeah, he just greeted punches. Like, this is not a winning strategy, is it? No. I mean, I don't think anyone knows what to do when you're uh, when you are underworld and you're playing the best team in the cup. <laughs> Wood elves who've rolled a blitz and are piloted by K-Fog. So, apart from like, sit in the corner, try not to tr try not to cry and cry a lot, there's not a lot to do. But, um, yeah, maybe, maybe you should have just fireballed those three and just hold for three removals. I, I guess that's the only thing that happens there. Like, literally just hope for, a, you know, hope for the ducky fireball, basically. Because, it's the only chance you fucking got, isn't it? Yeah. I, I think you've got to. Ooh, reroll gone. Oh! Leave the surf on and, and get KO'd. That was the play. That was the fucking play. Get your guy surfed. Bait the one in 81. <laughs> Woo! Flip me, guys! Holy shit! Do you do you like wizard now? You probably don't, cause it is your drive. Oh god! I hate this. It's worked. <laughs> I think it's just so risky, isn't it, the stab? But he got it. It really didn't seem good. Gets the pile this time. Gets the pile on as well. Do it. Yes, he does. He piles on the stun. Gets the removal. Oh god, he's still in a lot of trouble. But you know, he's got he's got a thrower free. Can tackle this guy. Pom him. I guess you wrestle the. No, but then he's guard to come in here. So maybe you see you block him and just hope for a pal. Fish for a pal. Maybe the goblin. Goblin could fish for a pow on, on the dancer. Because it's not as if the push gets him any worse, but if you pow him, you, you've got a goblin there and a dude there, and oh god, he's got to pick up with somebody. Is he going to try and do it with him? I'll do it anyway. No, okay, he doesn't have to. He's got to kill. So lots of players removed. Like, he's stabilising, isn't he? Just by sheer numbers here. Four gone. Still very dodgy. It would be great to free up the goblin to foul him. Like, obviously he doesn't have to do it this turn. But at some point. Gets the pal. I, I, I like fishing for the pal with the goblin, even. Just, oh my god, he's killed him. Oh my god, Apple's got to come out for this. Apple works. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like going for that just with the goblin, just so that then you could move this guard in here, because it's quite a good place for the guard then, isn't it? Um, I guess this way you get the surf and then the thrower. No, 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 you did it with the wrong guy! 
you did it with the wrong guy. He could have he could have come back with the throw and picked up the ball. I really hate leaving the ball on the ground against elves. He could have come all the way back down and picked it up. But I mean, there's not many elves, but he can just roll so, like some twos and fours and just score. Hitting the helium, you know it. I don't know why he followed. Maybe he's to tempt uh, K Fog with another another surf that won't work. <laughs> I guess you go for the pow now. Fuck it, right? Why not? Yeah, yeah. So the goblin could go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then he'll pick it up on a three without a reroll. I would have, I would have personally preferred to pick it up on strength three with block on a 4 plus with a reroll, rather than uh, this guy on a 3 plus without a reroll. be strength 2, but hey, I'd have much preferred to have served for the goblin and get him back. Hello, Marquit. How did this happen? Um, Kill Bill left a surf on, a surf of his tackle pommer. Horns tackle claw, well, horns claw tackle pommer. Um, K Fog went for it. He can't use his last reroll in turn three. He just, he just simply can't. And it was in the tackle zone a skitter. So this is just awful going for this. I, in my, if you ask me, I, I don't mind going for it on the, the you know, the sure hands guy, because at least then you've got the reroll put in automatically. He's got strength three and block. But putting it on him. I don't know, man. I don't. It, it was on Skitter at least. Oh well. Never mind. K Fox rolled a double one into a Kaz. <laughs> oh my god. Well, the claims of GG were greatly were greatly exaggerated. It looked like GG on turn one. Holy shit. Honestly, K Fox's gone from getting a blitz and getting the ball and the game being over to the game being over the other way as he's got a dead catcher, dead lineman. The uh, dancer's KO'd. The other dancer was killed and his apple worked. And now, all of a sudden, Kill Bill has completely recovered. Um, <laughs> there's three elves on the field. One's about to get Dirty Player fouled. Is it Dirty Player? Yeah, Dirty Player up there. So one's about to get dirty player fouled. Three dice clop on this guy. And he's still got his wizard, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it doesn't anymore, Dimmy, no. No, it doesn't anymore look like the best team in the chalice. No. I mean, it, it might still be the best team in the chalice, actually. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe his Cruces is better now. Roger and a Bloodstep catcher. I mean, they're pretty decent. This, I mean, this is going to be a big foul now. <laughs> this is a huge foul. <laughs> I think you foul before you even pick up, right? Because you can just literally... You're out of range of this guy. You can just put everyone in. Just put everyone in on the foul. <laughs> and just foul before you even go for the pick up. <laughs> this guy can get in. This guy can get in, so you'll be adding 3, 4, 5, 6, so you've guaranteed armor break. Yep. Bring him in. Bring him in. Guaranteed AV break. Do the foul first. And now, uh, Cruz's uh, team is better than Davo's. D Davo had a good team, but uh, it was a bit weak against Elves, I thought. So I wouldn't have said it was the best in the chalice. Just put him one away so you're not in range of this guy. I mean, he's not going to do anything. But still. Now he might not break AV. Don't like that. Get the assists in. Make sure you get plus one more injury. Well, Kaz him. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, even if K Fog somehow wins this, he's now going up against Cruz in the second round without the Edge 5 guy, and therefore probably going out, I would say. That is, uh, it's looking really horrible for K Fog's chalice equity now, as well as the match equity, obviously.
Um, Au bord du terrain, à portée des mains des fans qui ont l'air affamés. <laughs> no, no, far from the legal concede. He's actually got a deep bench, careful. Two, three, four, five. Oh. Two, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He's still got. No, eleven. Two, seven. He's still got eleven players potentially. In the second half. Uh, will we see. A two heads foul on that guy, maybe. Not blitzing the. Uh, not blitzing the tree. Letting Skitter get blitzed by the tree is interesting, isn't it? Troll score! No. Oh god, tackle pommer score. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you don't risk it. One reroll, four turns. I think you just try and play the safe, don't you? Claw. <laughs> Get claw on normals, uh, Underworld ones. So it'd be really fucking good to score on him. I think he probably should have tried the uh, handoff, actually. Oh, he's already got claw. He's got claw already. Uh, horns, though. Horns. Horns. Sorry. Horns. 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 Um, which in Aryan game and when is it? Impetuous lad. Oh, he knew the thing was going to fix score. What a genius player. I think he should have gone the hand off that turn, you know. It's such a good fucking... It's such a good play at the level, isn't it? Ah, oh, it was in Narin that was playing somebody good. Wait, is that the second round? Oh, I don't know then. Somebody was playing somebody good. I don't know. Yeah, there's there's one elf left. I he should. I think he should. I think he should have handed off to this guy. You know. Yeah, which in Aryan game? Who's he playing? Who, what's going on? Andre is it? Is he playing Andre? He's not playing Bright. He's definitely not playing Bright in Chalice because Bright has lost in Chalice. <laughs> uh, when, 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 what time does it start, Impetuous Lad? If you can tell me a time. I can tell you a yes, no, maybe. Can you repeat the question? Killer. Killer 90s reference there. Oh, he's going to claw upon the tree this time. Kurpalm. He's just getting two Kaz on this guy! Oh, <laughs> he's killed the tree! <laughs> it's actually the fourth death because he apoed one. It's actually the fourth death. Kvog apoed one of the deaths. Oh no, this one isn't dead, it's just missed next, isn't it? What was this one? Didn't see that. Only badly hurt. Yeah, third death. He appoed one. And that that's not a death. It's minus AV. Wow. Pitch clear. <laughs> Six turn pitch clear. All because of a 1 in 81 on the surf. If it hadn't been for that 1 in 81, KFOG would have surfed his killer and scored and been 1-0 up versus... You know, maybe he would have maybe cast the killer. And... Uh, and the one in 36. Yeah, the one in 81 was the big one, though. The, like, the one in 36 didn't help, but it was already looking bad for him then. But the one in 81 was the absolute killer. You go for the handoff here. Fuck it. No, maybe not. N maybe not now that he's on 75. He just needs one more cans. Yeah, because he left that surf on. 
it lost the game for k -Fog. I mean, I think k had to go for it, right? It was just such a good play, you had to try it surfing. And <laughs> probably still k up. <laughs> so I think he is going for the handoff. Because he's got these for the scatter, hasn't he? Oh, he's passed it the other... What the fuck? Okay, level the goblin. Out of, I guess this guy might get a... Com this might get a cars, right? This guy might get a cars. I would have definitely tried to level him, though. For the game against... Uh, Cruz. I'd much rather have... Horns guy to blitz with. Yeah, plus side. I mean, he's already got two heads, hasn't he? He doesn't need the plus side that much, I guess. Big hand. Yeah, a joke. It's pretty brutal. Six cars he's taken. His dancer died, but he appoed him. So yeah, k has got seven players. Maybe nine for the second half. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. Dead tree. Dead lino. Um, AV busted catcher. I think these guys are just uh, badly hurt, the last two. Um, and Wiz Apple gone. Wizard still in hand for Kill Bill. Um, he's got a sidestepper, so Kefo can pr probably still. Oh, I don't know. There's there's two sidesteppers on the LOS. Maybe even Kefo can't get the uh, one turner here. Yeah, big hand. I would say HTK. Yeah, with with two heads and with two heads and uh, extra arms. I think you go big hand, so you can pick it up in a two plus dodge on two pluses anywhere. And pick up on two pluses anywhere, and then with combined with a wizard, he just bolts, dodges in, picks it up, runs away, doesn't he? They are massive tentacles here. <laughs> he still does have all of his unskilled linos, and he's got one dancer. He just needs the other one to come back, and then he's almost at full strength, really, more or less. <laughs> He can still de very much win this, especially as, like, uh, Kill Bill might be, like, tilting a bit, right? Because he's going to feel pretty elated now, isn't he? After that, uh, after getting blitzed on and suddenly killing everybody. He's going to blitz that gobble. I think he is. So he fills in this square. And this square and this square. Blitzes him. Pushes him into here. And then that gets him to there. And then he fills in this square as well. And then he blocks him across. Into there, into there. Into getting the second one. I don't know if he's got enough players for it. That's the problem. I'm not sure he's got the players to do it. Là, au moins, personne ne se plaindra de la météo. <laughs> yes, Dimmy, he might just instantly snake, but I just genuinely don't know if it's possible or not. I guess he'll just do the pass first and see if it works. Le ballon lui a chahi des mains comme un poulet de trash blanc. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if it was possible or not now. <laughs> it may well have been. May well have been possible. Oh, his, his dancer stays out. Fuck off, Dimmy. Boy, howdy. It wasn't a snake. Yeah, it wasn't a snake. Dimmy was totally wrong. It was a two into a one. <laughs> Right, so he's got seven players now. 
You wouldn't believe <laughs> that you could start with 14 players and be down to 7 for the second half. <laughs> I mean, this is rough, isn't it? I guess he's got to, like, quick go to get past the wizard. I want to, like, try and elf it, but it's hard with seven players, isn't it? It's hard to, uh... It's hard to, like, do a kind of... You know, elf stall or a dacker or anything against... With only seven players. It's skitter stab stab. It's a really shit gutter runner. Um, but, at least he's a gutter runner. And if you can get a gutter runner on a team that doesn't normally get gutter runners... Turns out he's quite a good star, but uh, I mean he's really bad. He doesn't have block or sidestep or anything. Um, so he is, he is genuinely. Oh god, sorry, I've this is uh, I've got a disaster with wires here. Got to give me a minute to sort my wires out. <laughs> That was the one good thing about a wireless mouse. BB3 Underworld do get a gut runner, but they lose they lose the blitzer, don't they? To get in. Right. Wires sorted out. Riot. You just pretend to be trying to win. <laughs> yeah, I think he tries to bust through for a quick score. Which is scary against the wizard, right? Like, I don't think... Is he one-turning? He's fucking... Is he fucking one-turning? No, he's not. I thought he might have, you know, got some ball threats down and then delivered it later, but I guess he's just going to try and screen him. I mean, this is dangerous against the wizard. I guess the good thing is you might, you know, draw the wizard out and it might not, uh, and he might be without the wizard. But the bad thing is the wizard might totally stop you score altogether. Interesting, but you're more likely to stop the score. By going all in on it. <laughs> hey, Flicky, you're the guy who uh, you're the guy who brutally murders people, not me. That's the question, HTK. Like, in in a way, um, K Fog is baiting the wizard here, isn't he? Um. So, so maybe you don't whiz. Maybe you just blitz. Get the uh, get the troll on him. Get the troll on the ball. Blitz, blitz the dancer. Even though you can't pom him. Blitz the dancer. Get the troll on the ball. Get everyone else based up. Hope for the best. Les tentacules. Je déteste les tentacules. Blitz the dancer to from here, so if he sidesteps there, you can make him. Oh, he does go over the ball. I, I'm not sure that was the correct play, but it, make, it gets a casualty, of course it does. <laughs> no, I don't like the ball. Like making it one one seemed very safe. But I guess he does the same thing now, right? He can he can put the troll on the air uh, on the dancer to take care of the dancer. Base the other guys up with tackle and skitter. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get the ball. He ha he can't pile on because he's in the way of the uh, thrower. He's in the way of the thrower. It's the one time you're allowed to not pile on is when piling on would lose you the game. So, 
or of course when it would be positionally silly because you need that piece on its feet to close a gap or to screen something or just to keep something else safe but yeah pile on all the time obviously every single time unless piling on loses you the game <laughs> Hello, PC. <laughs> Hello, Jim. What a lovely and opportune time to enter. Um, not the chalice to be a wood elf, is it? <laughs> no, apparently not. Um, don't, I don't know the result of Gdanik, so no spoilers, please, for that one. I thought Gdanik. Well, I'm just saying, was... the, the first two wood elf games I've seen uh, have led to wood elves leaving, so. Um... Yes. The two best Wood Elf teams, Good Enix and uh, K Folks, we don't know the results of yet, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it's looking pretty horrible for K Folks. This is, this is, yeah, <laughs> this is not where I expected, having been out for a lovely dinner with the restaurants open. Ooh. We celebrated my birthday with a dinner this evening with the kids, get back and find my good friend Cor. Um, has six elves left. Oh, there's a couple only KO'd. Yeah. And. Only two of them are dead, dead. The tree and just a rookie. Oh no, a two skill lineman. Yeah. Um, it's not looking good though for him, is it? <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a brutal situation, uh, to be honest, yes. <laughs> okay, so it's two deaths. And his best catcher is minus AV and missing the next game. But other than that, you know. Three badly hurts. Those will come back if he makes the next round. Yep. It was actually three deaths, but he, his apple worked on his dead dancer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, and the, the, you know, the dancer is still on the field. One of them. Yeah. About to get tentacled. It is about to get tentacled. Yes, that that is true. And he has now lost the ball. Um... <laughs> <laughs> he has an easy next round, next round. Yeah, his next round, the next round is against Crucifer. <laughs> so even if, even if Kefog pulls off something magical here, like a leap, successful, successful tentacles roll, leap. Well, he doesn't even need a leap right now, does he? Uphill the, you know, get the ball loose, dodge away, uh, score, do something, win overtime. Somehow you might need to leap actually. Yeah. Yeah, I mean a one die here is reasonably easy to see happening yeah. um and elves you know there's one that isn't on tentacles that could as long i mean as long as he can leap out of the tentacles which i mean he might be able to do yeah. double one there for uh kill bill then a series of threes could easily put it in the hands of a catcher who could score he could get both of the ko's back and then a miss field or blitz could happen. I mean, there is ways this goes well, but this dancer does need to get away from these tentacles, doesn't it? That's the only way this works, I think. He rerolls and, and fails. He rerolls it, and it's uh, two fails there. Oof. Only needed an eight plus, so wasn't that difficult, but not to be. Hey, Skitter's gone. <laughs> Has killed Skitter. That's always fun. <laughs> I think the first uh, time, not the second time, he's been punched. <laughs> Completely irrelevant to Bill for the next round, of course, but uh, there we are. Mm. Still fun to see. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Another cat! <laughs> 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 uh, can get Again, pitch just this badly turn. hurt. Uh, he will be there for the next round, should Cor make it. He can get Which... pitch cleared this turn. Literally yes, he absolutely turn. can. Yeah. I mean, he probably won't. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Is it <Yeah>. probably? <laughs> I think you don't pile here, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, you don't pile here, do you? The problem here is if you if you activate the troll and lose the stupid, so I think you don't hit him. So yeah, I think you're right. He probably doesn't get pitch cleared because it's just not worth um, risking losing tense on the dancer no no i mean you you've got the ball it's in a nice safe spot I mean, pitch clearing people enjoy doing i've never really understood why it doesn't mean anything you don't get a, a badge whoa <laughs> you don't have a badge no i don't have a badge i've pitch cleared a few times but it's never been an aim of mine oh, man. well it has once or twice but but not very often <laughs> 
<laughs> Only against Matt Ducker. <laughs> it's very difficult to because when he plays someone he considers better than him at Blood Bowl, he just runs away. Yeah. Whether it's offense, defense, doesn't matter. He will join a game with someone like Kaur or myself and he will um, target a draw as his sort of best case scenario. Yeah, it's a bit lame, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, as I said in your channel earlier, Jim, it's, you know, he didn't invent the withdrawn offence, he just popularised it because he does it with everything against everyone. And I don't personally feel a coward should have things named after him. No, this was terrible, wasn't it, by Kill Bill? Shouldn't he have just put the guard Yeah, what, what the hell is going on here? I mean, again, this is a very easy cancel of the single assist, and as long as he gets away from tentacles, which, again, it's an A+, plus, it's not that difficult, it's... You know, it's not easy, but it's certainly doable. Yep, and he has, and now he gets a one die. Wrestles in. Which... Yep. <laughs> now he's. Now I guess he just passes it, right? Yep, yeah, you pick it up in the tentacles and you pass out. Uh, presumably to uh, something that has then run itself into the end zone. Yep. There we go. GFI from this guy. So that was truly, truly terrible, that turn. <laughs> just as we were saying that it was. Um, you know, all you had to do was keep the ball safe. He decided not to. <laughs> yep. However, um, on the two, on the three plus to pick up the ball, uh, Core managed to fail that, including a reroll. That is, uh, or a little one in nine there. Yeah. Now it would have been a four plus at least the pass. No, a five plus pass for a two plus catch. So it wasn't easy, even if you picked it up. But um, just really not brilliant that he allowed that to happen. Yeah. yeah uh, thank you very much for the birthday wishes. It was actually yesterday, uh, Ali Ryder, but yes, I turned 49 years of age. I was a little bit hungover this morning. There was a bit of a drunken stream last night. Oh, and yeah, I said it before, but happy birthday. <laughs> Again, Thank why you. not? Yes, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Sure hands pops there, but uh, of course that's what it's for, is to make sure that even on a 3+, plus, you still get the ball. Unlike the elves picking it up in that, uh, that tentacle to tackle zone. Yeah. Well, now he's got now he's got the, uh, the guard on opposite corner, so it can yeah, only be an Yeah, absolutely. Up. Now he's built a very, very safe cage, which even if you leap into, because of course he definitely can, it's going to be red dice. Now, the war dancer isn't on tentacles this time, so even on red dice, the odds of getting uh, getting good dice, it's a, well, I mean, it's 50% on each dice, isn't it? So it's about one in four. Yeah. It is, in fact, exactly one. He is getting stomped. He is getting fouled, yeah. But that did nothing. Nada. Zero and indeed zip. Yeah. So instant, instant leap in, uphill, and then a guy. Yep. Eager to if it works. snaffle up the ball and pass it yep. to the catcher in the end zone. Absolutely. Have it needed the reroll for the leap, which is not great. And he doesn't get the power. He does not. I spotted that, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, dear. I, I don't think that's what I did, Satterfield. I tried to make some constructive points. I liked some of the things you did. And I tried to point out where other things could maybe have been improved. But I also have a feeling I talked quite a lot of gibberish because by that time I was getting very tired and was quite drunk. <laughs> so he can three dice the dancer, um, but he should probably move the other guys first. <laughs> so he doesn't just sidestep into the ball. <laughs> <laughs> PC says Shitterfield then belly laugh on cam. <laughs> yeah, I I can't swear that that didn't happen. <laughs> Brilliant. But probably I didn't. That doesn't sound like me. <laughs> Sounds pretty funny though, doesn't it? It does, yes. Glorious. <laughs> No, I won't give in until I'm victorious, and I will defend. 
Yeah, I well, I mean, I, thanks to Vang, I, yes, I, I think I'll My stand by that. My fan favourite is dead. Sad face, but at least almost 20 months subbed. Happy face. That does sound like I was talking moderate sense, so yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Glorious, thank you very much there. I've got to do the thing to see what it is, but uh, thank you. Oh, Chunter subscribed at tier one. He's now been a subscriber of yours for 19 months. Have the two of you had many baby beavers together? We've had five baby beavers, nearly. Nearly five. We've only got four. Wow. Uh, fifth well, the fifth the one is on the way, yes, in the oven. And, uh, fan favourite is dead. Ah, oh, poor Chunter. But thank you very much for staying fantastic. Glorious. Reroll's gone in here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, to put that rat in a position that really doesn't add a lot, does it? No. Okay, I suppose now you probably leap out, but... Yeah, cancel the little goblin. I think you leap and just dodge around this goblin, don't you? And then uh, come at this, uh, this ball carrier from the empty square of what is almost a cage, but really isn't. Yeah. So I guess that reroll was needed to just, uh, yes, make Ooh. sure that the war dancer can't leap twice. Oh, now that is interesting, yeah. Mm. Two dying the troll, and she's going to just get back in front of this drive, and uh, and Cole will deal with it later with his many elves. Yeah. <laughs> Loads of players to throw in front now. <laughs> well, on the plus side, he has got all five of his elves, count them, yes. Uh, back in active positions. One, a genuine scoring threat, <laughs> and the other four really giving problems to this uh, pseudo cage. Yep. So do coup. So do co. So do. Pseudo coup. Pseudo coup. There you go. Almost spoke English there, didn't I? Almost. Why didn't you just go back and, like, turtle? Because he's won the lot. I like that. Um, I mean, I don't hate getting away from the touchdown line, giving the elves that uh, you know that slight extra grief of the very simple pass and catch. But it has allowed the elves to yeah separate a receiving option uh, and get yeah. I mean, there's genuinely enough elves to possibly bother a cage. Yeah, it's stupid, isn't it? Fucking elves. I mean, I don't I don't love the fact that the troll was able to just. Uh, grab two of them with its tentacles. As I pointed out, tentacles do fail. That is a thing that can happen. Yep. Now, neither of those elves have tackle. <coughs> so, utterly pointless. Uh, they have dodge, sorry. So, utterly pointless trying to keep the tackle on them. The, the tentacles is doing as good a job as needs to be done. Yep. But it does mean, again, there's just no possibility of closing this cage up. Having advanced the guard forward, if the ball runs forward, the one goblin that has done nothing really can't close the cage. The uh, the rat at the back can, uh, if only the thrower directly in front of where the ball is now hadn't stood in exactly the wrong square <laughs> to make it able to do it. Yep. Now, he does have re-rolls, so he can probably risk that little 2+, plus, but... Um, it means a 1 in 9 fail on the Goblin is hugely problematic for the dodge off. And uh, a 1 in 36 fail for the Rat at the very back to join this cage is also a problem. Well, I don't know what he's doing now. It would and be a that's... 1 in 36 for the Goblin, of course, because he does have two heads. Oh, yes. Yes, you're right. It is 1 in 36. Um, what's that Rat doing there, Jim? Have you got any idea at all? Nope. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> oh, is he scoring? Oh, he's just going to score. Okay. And he does. 1 in 36. We are pretty much done here. Unless Core can find a way to one turn and then get a blitz. <laughs> uh, that's, that's We're done. It's over. Mm. Only elves I don't know the result of is, um, is G'day's. And I am very interested in that because I could be facing the winner of that match in round three if I get extremely lucky against the Dark Elves in round two. Mm. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so far this not the chalice for the elf, for the wood elves. Oh, calcium. 
<laughs> but again, Always enters the room rather strongly uh, with profanity, Kelsey. He <laughs> just doesn't he? Just fuck's sake. <laughs> I take it there's a tale of woe behind that calcium rather than just a general malaise at the entire of Blood Bowl. Has something poor happened to you in the recent past? Or are you a particularly lover of... Did you have some money on core reaching the final? <laughs> yeah, this was, this was maybe the best team in the cup. But, um, yeah. It, uh, one in 81, if he, had, if he had just got the surf, um, then he scores and he's 1-0 up and, you know, Kill Bill's nearly without a killer. Instead. Well, of course, the same thing happened last chalice, didn't it, to uh, the Doogie Hauser of Blood Bowl, uh, Shawnee, with his uh, awesome Wood Elf team. Yeah, did you? Yeah. Did you like that reference, Jim, the Doogie Hauser of Blood Bowl? I did, yeah, I did like that, to be honest. Thank you. I knew who did you just, meant before you Just said came to me. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> Okay, actually, I think what he needs here is a riot followed by a blitz. Yeah. And he has set up for that, but it isn't that. At this point, it is over. Qu'est-ce que tu fais, Jim? Ah, oh, rien, je me curé les dents, Bob. Tu te polissais les crocs, quoi. Il dort. Hey. Sure, he's like Doogie Howser. That's it. <laughs> it's not. It's not complicated. <laughs> But yeah, KFO. Yeah, he couldn't really score the one turn, could he? So yeah, he just set up for a no. riot. Set up for the riot. Oh well. Well, that's. I mean, it's not. It's not a complicated. It's not a complicated reference. It is just literally. If you Google Doogie Howser, you'll be like, "That's Shawnee. That's Shawnee. That is." <laughs> <laughs> What an incredibly astute and observant person that purple chest is, you will say to yourself. Yeah. How did I not spot that before now? <laughs> yeah. um, oh, He's going to go for 2 1, isn't he? Just for the shits and giggles. Yeah. He's got a blitz with uh, this character. He's got to not stop the score, and he's got a blitz with the uh, blitzer. Imperative that he doesn't stop the score. Yeah, there's, there's almost no point in it, because that way, if he doesn't stop the score, he's going to get some more hits on the line of scrimmage, which is a nice thing to do. Yeah, should have made this a 3D. Yeah, just take yourself a nice kill. Yes, it's terrible that wasn't 3D, but there we are. I mean, the game is long over. I'm going to forgive people non-ideal coaching decisions, but... Why not? I mean, just really, one, one more player. I'm not going to forgive him because he first okay. of all he didn't score on this guy, and he's on seventy. He was on seventy three SPP, and he didn't score on him. Um, yeah, that's not great. And now he's on seventy five and just needs one SPP. So yeah, get the ball back and do a little cheeky pass. Yeah. Just let him score. Yeah. He will score. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll score anyway, he can leap. I hear elves do that. Yeah. He's going to put the troll on him, isn't he? One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. Yeah, he can put the troll on him. Don't put the troll on him. Well, this would be funny if he did and he'd like snake the G. Well, not even snake, right? Just one in 12, the GFI and died. <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be genuinely funny. I mean, obviously sad, but really funny. <laughs> I don't want to win 2 1. Oh, 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 we're halfway there. <laughs> he's got the re rolls, he's going to pump it in. Lone of fail. If he broke. Oh. oh, so near, Jim. <laughs> wow. Have you ever considered getting a job with a crystal ball in a circus? Or indeed a fairground? <laughs> oh, man, that would have been so good, wouldn't it? He was a nine on the kill as well, it was so close. Holy shit, that was so close. So, I think Cause decided not to score, just to spite him. <laughs> yeah. No, you can't have the ball and get your simple one SPP pass. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, make sure you stay away from this guy so he can't <laughs> he can't level him. <laughs> Yeah, that's that one out of range two. Yep. And that one, that one is definitely not now leveling unless it gets the MVP. <laughs> Can you put in me why you just didn't let me score so you could hit three people on the line of scrimmage? I know. Well, not only that, he's got one on 75 SPP desperate to get jump up. Uh, and now it can't. And instead of risking his throw? <laughs> yep. Which Jim was predicting would kill itself on the go for it, and instead just knocked itself out, because Jim has strange magical powers since he's lost his toes, and hence more resembles one of those people you see at uh, circuses, and think of as travelling folk with colourful characters. That's hilarious. Like, what the fuck? I was, keep... I was helping him. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. If he just let you score, he'd have got three punches and been able to do a little vanity pass. Little vanity pass for the one SPP he needed on the player on 75. That's hilarious. Uh, this is not what is called high-level tournament strategy here. <laughs> no, he, I, mean, I was planning just to punch it in to give him it the oh. chance. I kind of want the team to get more firepower, but when he's just when he's doing that, <laughs> and I'm freaking not giving him. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, well, both of you acted a little bit like uh, King Canute there. I think that's uh, probably fair to say. He started it, and you said, well, I see that, and I up it. <laughs> and there we are, the end of the game. Wow. We can call it a game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was amazing, because it looked over on turn one the other way. <laughs> like, it was crazy. If, if you say... Wow. It cast sustained. And 19 armor breaks. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and a completely irrelevant goblin sucks up that MVP. So full on punished for not letting you score there, cool. But you know who's to say if his strategy was right or wrong? Me. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I do that all the time. Can't help myself. Wow. That was just unbelievable, wasn't it? 80 times out of 81. Um, sailing to victory there after the Blitz. And instead... The, Everybody uh, died. <laughs> yeah, the killer wasn't safe. It's, uh, it's, I think it's the best reward I've ever seen for letting, for putting your killer in a risk for getting served. <laughs> yeah. It's the best reward for doing completely bonkers. <laughs> I know why he was going for it, but... Um, oh my god. <laughs> right, Kilsey and Calcium. Um, I suggest you both just go and have a cocktail or a, you know, an anger wank because really, you both seem <laughs> terribly, terribly cross about something, and I'm not sh entirely sure I can work out what it is. But yeah, uh, it's the most amazing. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> it seems like even my own my own actions killed more players than words. <laughs> Yeah. And after the one in eighty one it was the next very next the very next turn, the first action one in thirty six, wasn't it? It was funny. Yeah, yeah which again like it's even at that point if I if I make the dots and make the three plus uh push on that goblin, I'm pretty good odds from just scoring. Yeah. yeah. It's just mental. Okay, we uh, we do have you got uh, kill. kill Bill. For anyone that doesn't know in the chat, Kill Bill it, is uh, dog to the dog. They are one and the same human. Just using one of his many alts that, uh, you know, having been banned and had restraining orders against some of his other ones. All right. Um, he's saying that the first try was exactly how he planned it in the pre-game <laughs> sequence. It's, uh, okay. I, so I, I you're drawing up, leaving a killer to get served to draw out of. I mean, one getting one. blitzed on was the, was the biggest element, wasn't it? Like, that was... That was horrific, wasn't it? Like, just it looked over on turn one, really. And we were saying maybe use the wizard to try and stabilize, you know, like at various points. But instead, the play was to just leave your killer surfable, <laughs> put draw the one in 81, and then kill absolutely fucking everything you touched. <laughs> it's a pretty good, pretty good strat when it works, to be fair. Ah, uh, <laughs> so very much plan A, be luckier than the other guy, was it? Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> it seemed like you, in some turns, you were doing more three pluses than I could do in the whole game. 
Try to pass for the one turn, a good pass. Try to <laughs> pick up, good pick up. He liked the fireball after the blitz, really, but he felt it was pretty secure. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty. It wasn't like it was. You, you had to, get, but I think you had to do. It. I think you had to get when there was. It was there was only three hundred. There was the dancer, the edge five, and the garda. I would, I would have fireballed that, and like, okay, it's it's bad odds. Like it's it's probably worse than just bolting the carrier or bolting the dancer or bolting the guard or whatever. But like if you just fireball and knock all three over, you maybe don't lose. That's what that's what I was thinking <laughs> at that point. But then actually you didn't know the strategy was just kill all men. Yeah. Just let me yeah, including yeah. him <laughs> when I was trying to do stuff. I mean as the whiz happened after I arrived, it clearly didn't happen then, Jim, and yet somehow he also didn't lose. Yeah, yeah, that to me looked the only way to not lose, but instead the way to not lose was rely on outrageous, outrageous misfortune from KFOG from that point on, and uh, right. and incredible well, killings. That, <laughs> was that also, was even if, it. <laughs> even if I won, that was, but that's a tree kills in the six. Yeah, yeah, I the tree, the tree was killed. Your best uh, catcher uh, was minus AV and hence missing, uh, uh, and uh, wrestle. Uh, Wrestle, dodge, lineman was killed. Yeah, and uh, the apple saved the kill on uh, one of the war dancers as well. Yeah, so just the three kills. <laughs> but yeah. Entirely normal game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> Fun and interactive. Ooh. But it's fair, at least. Uh, it says, well, I had chances, though. Yeah. Well, frankly, wood elves should die like flies sometimes, shouldn't they? Because they're a very powerful raid, but with very low armor. So sometimes the bell curve should see the bloody end of it. <laughs> as well as the times they do 32 two pluses and don't fail a single one, which, you know, we've all seen that happen too. I yeah. definitely approved uh, the can fail. Yeah. No, fair enough, Dr. The Dog. I mean, uh, you know, it, it was a rough matchup anyway, right? You've, you've got to get lucky against yeah. against KFOG with that team. It's like, you know, <laughs> probably, a, probably a better coach than everyone is going to play and, and probably a better team than everyone is going to play. So yeah. <laughs> even though Underworld are a bit shit... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you should yes, absolutely. You shouldn't necessarily apologise for that, dog to the dog. I mean, it's one of the things I say a fair amount, isn't it? That if you look at the game and think, "Wow, I'm going to need to get lucky here," then you need to come up with ideas that have possible lucky outcomes. Um, and banging on everything, killing them is is one of those. Yep. And so there you go. So, congratulations, Kill Bill. Commiserations, KFOG. And uh, thank you very much, Purple Chess, for the commentary. Oh, uh, well, kill Bill? shame I wasn't here earlier. Why the hell didn't you just let me score so you could get four hits? <laughs> and really importantly, <laughs> just a little tiny 3 plus 3 plus, uh, possibly even a 3 plus 2 plus to get the one SPP you urgently needed on one of your killy pieces. Oh, yeah, and the pass. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was the go. only reason I was going for the touchdown was <laughs> to give the ball back. Yeah, he was genuinely trying to help you with no help of actually thought of actually winning the game. Um, and you went, oh well, I'm just going to bang on some things. <laughs> I'm just going to try and kill my troll instead. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I mean, I'm so surprised. Fantastic. <laughs>